Hey guys, uh, I'm going to show you by request um, a quick tip uh, how to double and triple tongue. Well, I, I'm going to try to explain it as basically as possible because, I mean, everyone's face is different, so it's going to be slightly different for everyone. So it's kind of a hard thing to teach, but I'm going to try my best and I'll try to do it as simple as possible. And then if you need to alter it in any way to make it work for you, then by all means do it. Okay, so I'm going to start with uh, double tonguing. So the basic uh, thing about double tonguing is that you're you're doing the normal t, like two two for single tonguing, but then you're also adding k. So it's like t k t k t k. So uh, basically, you have to be able to say that first. So like t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k t k. That's the first step. You gotta be able to actually say it. So practice doing that. And then the next step I, I would think would be to actually be able to do it when you're buzzing. So uh, you can do a free buzz just by putting your lips together like this, like doing like an mm, like mm, and then buzzing them. So, mm. so that's the basic tone behind it. Now, if you can uh, double tongue that, then you should be able to do on trombone. So you can do. <laughs> so basically, I'm doing, but I'm combining it with. So. And if you can't do that, that's fine. The, if you can do it on the mouthpiece though, that's pretty important. So, if you can't, if you can't free bust, don't worry about it too much. Try your best to, to do on the mouthpiece now. So do your, your normal buzz. And then you gotta try double tonguing that buzz. And then if you can do that, the next step is to do it into the trombone. So pick a comfortable note. Most likely it's gonna be B flat. Also, another way of doing it instead of tuka tuka ta, you can do duga 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 da. It's a little bit softer, but it's not as uh, articulate, and, uh, articulate and clear. I believe for classical playing, the tuka 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 is more common. Um, and now for triple tonguing, it's similar to double tonguing, but instead of going tuka, you're going tuka ta. Or I've seen in other, I believe it was the Arabian book. Another way of doing is tutuk, so tukata or tutuk. I personally have better luck with tukata by a long shot. Um, try it both ways, see which way works for you. Again, you gotta try actually pronouncing it. So and then try um, free buzzing it. <laughs> then, um, mouthpiece. <laughs> and then, finally, trombone. <laughs> um, you can try that again with the dugga. Dugga, 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 or you might have better luck doing tuku 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 tu or taka 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 ta. I personally just think the most important part are the syllables like t and k, because the rest the rest of the vowel is just the air. So it's like or again the air is important. Um, I guess practice it slowly. You're, you're gonna have to work it up for I mean really it, it's different for every player it's hard to really say what's gonna be best for each player it's gonna take a lot of practice and you're gonna need to try different ways and honestly I think it's a matter of just finding what works best for you and doing lots of experimentation I mean you can practice a lot but 
practicing the wrong way and you won't make any progress but all of a sudden you might try something different and it might work better for you it might just click like that that's not to say don't don't practice keep practicing and eventually i think you'll find what works best okay hopefully that was helpful and uh please like and subscribe to my channel and if you have anything else you want to know please let me know talk to you later